Good morning. What you see here is, uh, we call this uh, wood chips. They throw it away after they uh, cut it with the machine. They throw it away in the bush again or in the garden or something like that. It's almost dry and I was wondering, I found this yesterday, I was wondering if this uh, will burn in the pellet container of the uh, tender burner. So I start up this morning the tender burner. The first chamber is uh, normal wood, sticks straight up and hopefully it's not hot, too hot for me. What you see is a beautiful fire over here. These are the wood chips. Normally I put uh, pellets in there, but I have to buy the pellets. But actually a little bit expensive for me. And now this is for free. Free energy. That's what we're talking about. When we were, when we were experimenting yesterday, we saw that uh, the uh, El Gold stove was starting very slow because of the cold outside. So I decided to try to make something what's a combination, what is a combination of a pot stand and a preheater. Until now it works. It's not a pot stand yet, but it's a preheater. You can see that I did make some holes over here in the range of the flames and some holes over here. But when I put a pot on now, the the, the flames are going um, down and they make black smoke. So I have to make somewhere over here air holes. He's hot enough and he burns very slow and very quiet. This has not the effect of a chimney. As you can see, the flames are very quiet. This is very hot, but then when I put a kettle on, they go wild, so I, I need to make air holes over here, step by step, finding out how it works. So Sophia, is, Sophia isn't there, so I have to do it uh, with one hand, one hand video. It's already uh, a little bit uh, alcohol in the stove, and on the floor of the stove is Alcohol too, a little bit too much perhaps. I will ignite it. There he goes. He's already burning. You see the holes over there giving the air. You can see he's already burning. He will go wild for a moment because there was too much alcohol in it. And then he will slow down. But in this uh, what you see on the left is paper that's still on the on the on the can. It's gone for in a few seconds. Now he is going down. Still a little bit on the bottom. Place him in the middle. Look how beautiful this is burning. There's not much alcohol in the stove because of the Experiment, experiment. Now it did make some holes over here. I don't know if they are big enough, and if they are, um, will slow down the fire too much. So I have to take a kettle from the tandem burner and put it over here. And then we go down for a look. This is, oh, this is good. Look what happens. The flames are still good working. It's almost no effect on the... <laughs> Look over here. <laughs> it was a little bit preheated, but... <laughs> this is beautiful. When I take the kettle off, I put it back. There's almost no reaction. Almost.
Well, Tim and Don, how do you like it? My cup of tea on the alcohol stove. See you. Yes, Tim, what did you say about uh, a steam kettle <laughs> for the steam machine? This will work, it's no problem, especially on a vertical uh, steam kettle. But it will burn for 40 minutes, more than 40 minutes. And of course, as always, it's a mess, but it's my mess. <laughs>